stuff going on and I don't know, I guess I got just a little bit discouraged, but I do have a lot of friends that really encourage me to do my YouTube channel and do makeup on here, so I just really want to make you guys proud and of course still chase my dreams so yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep on. So here I am just starting with my Marc Jacobs Coconut Perfecting Primer. This is my go-to primer. I love it. I have oily skin and this has always just worked really, really great for me. It's water-based, so it's really, really hydrating and doesn't make your skin oily at all. And then here I'm just going in with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is a pore minimizing primer, so I love this stuff. I use it in my problematic areas, which is right here under my eyes, on my forehead. I usually do like under my nose, under my chin. But this stuff is definitely a game changer. Then here I'm actually also taking another Makeup Forever primer and this is actually a color correcting primer and this is their green one which cancels out any redness that you might have so I always use this on my cheeks and then I'm having kind of, I don't know, some type of reaction on the side of my face and it's been like really red so I just put some on there as well but this stuff is amazing if you have any redness in your face I got a spray tan recently so my body is a lot tanner than my face so I'm going in with kind of a darker foundation this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Wear Liquid Foundation in shade number 7 this is a full coverage matte finished foundation it is literally, it lives up to its name, All Nighter. Then just going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I use the color Medium. I've been kind of straying away from light, like super light concealers. And I've just kind of been liking these medium tones a lot better. The Shape Tape is seriously my favorite like I didn't think I would like anything more than the Too Faced um, concealer that I was using before in the Born This Way but then of course every YouTube beauty guru is using this now and it's it's living up to its name for sure it does not crease at all every girl needs this concealer in their life for sure this one is definitely amazing I'm just blending all that out with my beauty blender and then now I'm just going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder with a Real Techniques beauty blender I don't really like using the beauty blender I use for my foundation when I use powder so I just change it up and I'm just setting my all everywhere that I conceal so under my eyes chin forehead and then in the middle of my nose Then to contour, I am just using my MAC 130 stippling brush with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour and cream contour to start off with. And I use a really light hand here. It doesn't look like it, but just kind of want to sketch out where I want that contour first. And I always go in with the color Light Sculpt. Then I'm just going in with a Morphe M530 brush and I am just taking Benefit Hula Bronzer to set that cream contour. I'm 
You definitely want to always set your cream contour with a contouring powder. You don't want that cream contour slipping and sliding all over your face. And then just going in and putting a little powder along my jawline just to get that shadow. And then taking a Morphe E34 brush and just wiping away that baking we were doing under the eyes. And now onto contouring my nose. This is a Morphe E47 brush and I'm going in with that Benefit Hula Bronzer again to contour. This brush is amazing for contouring the nose because it's very slim and you can be really precise with it. And then I like to go in with a MAC 224. Um, just a blending brush and Blending, buffing that out so it's not like two lines going down my nose. And then here, this is a new technique that I've just been doing as of lately, and I just take like a small little powder brush, and I go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, and I just kind of clean up on the sides of the contour, and that kind of just makes the contour pop a little more, as well as just setting the side of the nose. And then just wiping away the excess powder. Then going in for a quick bronze, I'm just using my Morphe M527 brush with MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. Then of course, we have to bake those cheeks so we can get that really structured contour. And I just use a Morphe M460 brush with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, this is just honestly the easiest way to contour. And I like to bring it all the way to my lips and a little bit under. And then I'll let it just sit here and bake for a little bit. And then next I'm just going in with my Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill collaboration blush. And I'm just mixing Rosé Spritz and Amaretto. And I'm using my favorite blush brush, which is a Morphe M403. Literally the best blush brush ever. I love it. And just cleaning up that bakage. And then I'm just going in with a clean M437 Morphe brush and just putting translucent powder all over the face where we didn't put any type of powder just to set all that foundation, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And here I am just using, I think this is the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer. I forgot which one I used. And I like to take it on a brush and then I just go in with my fingers and dab it all in and just kind of blend it more into my skin. The next, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this palette. It is the Morphe 35F. These colors are so beautiful. I love them. I wish these Morphe colors had names so it'd be easier to explain which colors I'm using because these palettes are so big, but this is just kind of a lighter brown taupey color that I'm using in my crease. And I honestly kind of just put it all over. I don't really use it that precisely just because this is going to be my transition color. So it's kind of okay if it's just blended out, um, nothing too sharp. And I love using the brushes that come in the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye palettes. I always use this as my crease brush. I don't know why, but I love it. <laughs>
Then on my lid, I'm just going in with the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette, and I'm just using the color Pink Champagne on my lid. Then just taking that original color that I used first on my crease and just making sure I put in a little more color for some definition. Then going in with a MAC 224 brush, I just picked up one of these darker kind of cranberry-ish colors just to darken up that crease and outer V a little bit. I was kind of just going for, you know, a fall, smoky eye type look. Kind of just chose colors as I went. Didn't really have a plan for this. And then I love doing this technique just to clean up the eyeshadow on the outer V just a little bit. And I'm just going in with the Morphe E47 brush and then some translucent powder. And then I just kind of leave it there and let it, let it sit. Then I'm going in with one of, one of these lighter shades, going back to the Morphe E, or sorry, 35F palette. And just putting a little bit more on my lid just to make my lid pop a little bit more. I have really small eyes, so going in with a lighter color. And then also putting in a lighter color um, on the inside of my eyes there makes my eyes pop so they don't look as small. I put on some Marc Jacobs um, black eyeliner already and then just to set that black liner I go in with a Morphe M432 brush and just some black eyeshadow. This just kind of helps your eyeliner not to bleed everywhere. I really love that technique. And then I'm just going in with this pencil brush. This is by Morphe M431 brush. And I'm just going in with this really pretty cranberry color that's in the Morphe 35F palette. And then I decided to put a little bit of this cranberry color on the outside just because it's so, so gorgeous. And I mean, why not? So I did my eyeliner off camera because I still haven't figured out how the heck to get it on camera. And then I was just about to put on eyelashes and realized I hadn't put on mascara yet. And I'm just going in with the um, Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara by Too Faced, my fave. And then just taking a little Prosecco pop highlighter and just popping that right under my brow bone just to give it a little more definition and just a little pop makes that arch in your eyebrows pop. And then on to my favorite part, and that's highlighting. And of course, I am using the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill collaboration in the color Champagne Pop. This is my absolute favorite. And then I just go in with a little Becca Cosmetics Opal. And I always just like to kind of put this on top. It just kind of makes everything pop a little more. Really gives you that highlight. So you are glowing for the gods. Putting it down my nose just a little bit. Always like to make that nose pop a little bit. It, Definitely make sure the nose looks skinnier when you add a little bit of a highlight down the center of your nose. And then for today's lip color, I'm just going in with this NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner, and this is the color Brooklyn Thorn. Super, super pretty, kind of dark purpley color. These new lip liners by NYX are my new obsession. They are so good and the, all the colors are seriously so beautiful and you can never beat the price. They're so cheap. 
And then going in with one of my faves, Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lips in Celebrity Skin. And I know these colors are like completely different, but they just really work together. I really don't know what it is. But, but yeah, that completes this look. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.